Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install RealWatch version 3 on your avatar. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be using this sample avatar that is not included in the package and serves only as a reference. So first, you want to choose which one of these watches you would like. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I chose the green one. All the watches can be found in the RealWatch version 3 folder in the prefabs. And I can just choose the green watch here. And I need to find my avatar, which is right here. And I need to drag the watch onto it. And it need to, needs to stay in the top level of the hierarchy. What is also important is that you need to keep your avatar in the first level of the hierarchy of the scene. Otherwise, uh, the script will not work and not apply properly. And you would have to redo this process all over again. So now that we have the watch uh, in the object, we're gonna make a constraint that's going to, well, anchor our watch to a bone that we want it to be attached to. We can either do this under the bone itself or we can create an object. I like to create an empty object, which I'm gonna call anchor. And in the real watch prefab, we're gonna create a parent constraint. We're gonna put the anchor in, zero and activate. And now the watch is anchored to the object and we, we, need, we want to uh, position the object, well, whatever we want, but usually it's gonna be our wrist. So I'm gonna nicely fit it and also scale it, which I'm gonna do on the watch itself. And then I'm going, gonna show you the next step. Now that the watch is nicely fit to our wrist, we're gonna finally apply the real watch system through the script provided. So for that, we go to Thread Tools in the main menu, we choose real watch, and this simple setup window is gonna appear. So what we wanna do is we wanna drag our avatar here. Uh, right defaults, it depends on what your, how your avatar works. Uh, affiliate and copy, and also smooth hand ticks, you can tick or untick. While it's ticked, mean checked, the minute and hour hands move each second hand tick. So that means continuously all the time. But if it's unchecked, the minute and hour uh, hand move each minute. So they snap uh, less frequently. Depends on what you really like to do to have. And for the setup settings, we find these settings in the settings files, fo files folder. And there's five of these, and each one is a different secondhand movement. And you can see all of them running in the sample scene if you play test it with the Liuma emulator before you apply any. For the testing purpose of this video, I'm gonna choose the smoothest. I'm gonna click apply. And now the script has applied the uh, the real watch to the FX layer, to the menu and the parameters. So we can now play test it. Uh, I'm gonna make my uh, character crouch so we can actually see closer. You can see the watch is running. What is important is to have in your view emulator the animator to debug as an FX right here. Otherwise it will not work smoothly in the Unity testing. So I'm gonna adjust it plus one hour, more, minus five minutes. There we go. Also there's this restart button which reinitializes the time and you can also reset to zero zero. So there it is. This is how very fast and easy it is to install real watch version 3.